Hi, I'm Ria and welcome back to my channel. So here I make beauty and skincare related videos. Go down, subscribe and keep watching. So is the humid weather making your skin dry or itchy or do you just have fungal infection? It's completely common right now looking at the weather outside. It's monsoon and it's literally the season where all the fungus thrives. Fungal infections of the skin are literally the most common thing that happen right now. And here's what you really need to know about it. So fungal infection of the skin is the most common problem that almost everybody faces during monsoon. And here's everything that you need to know about it. So what is ringworm? Ringworm is a contagious fungal infection of the skin which can occur anywhere on your body. Scientifically, it has a lot of different names like tinea capitis, tinea pedis, tinea cruris and so many more but the first thing that you really want to do is catch it early because fungal infections keep spreading and spreading and spreading and they keep growing so the lesions are circular they're itchy the margins are red and slightly raised while the part in the center it appears really normal and it can appear really shiny and smooth and without hair and they kind of start spreading outwardly in all directions something that you've actually come across in my videos is i really like to go and discuss about the causes of anything that is going on because you can prevent some things by just knowing the causes the cause of ringworm is of a specific kind of fungus trichophytum rubrum which is the most common fungal species that causes ringworm so other than that there are like wide variety of causes that can actually predispose you to having a fungal infection on your skin so these are a few first one is humid weather which is like sickly what you have in monsoon if you're sweating if you have poor hygiene it can transfer from your pets to you tight clothes or anywhere where there is a lot of friction in your body especially people who go to gym sharing baths towels and garments can also cause fungal infection while there is a very high or increased risk of getting a fungal infection if you have specific diseases like diabetes, Cushing syndrome or excessive sweating. These are like a group of things that you really need to avoid at all times especially when the weather is like this and we just discussed about the causes and now we're going to discuss about how to prevent it. <laughs> so don't share your undergarments ever, ever. And after every use you should wash your undergarments thoroughly. Don't share towels. Wash towels after one or two uses. It's preferable if you wear cotton clothes or loose clothes or organic fabrics because they don't irritate the skin much, they don't cause friction. So when you wash your clothes, dry them under the sunlight. Iron your clothes before you use them, even your undergarments if you actually sweat and if you know it's always moist. Wash your undergarments, iron your clothes, keep your clothes dry. If you really feel that your undergarment is getting wet through the day, Try to change it after a few hours so you keep all your body parts kind of dry. If you have really sweaty underarms, powder them, use Nicel. So if you have, if you think that you know your skin is really getting itchy and you know you just get an intuition that you might have a fungal infection or if you actually start seeing visible lesions that I told you about like the anti-dandruff shampoos that you get. So basically dandruff is a fungal infection of your scalp. So, it, so any anti-dandruff shampoo is going to have agents that are antifungal. So they have ketoconazole. So you should use anti-dandruff shampoo and not only for your scalp, anti-dandruff shampoos can be definitely and safely used on your skin once a day. Like you can use Celsin Blue. I'll put a link down below, go check it out. You can use Celsin shampoo or you can use an anti-dandruff shampoo from the drugstore like Head & Shoulders anti-dandruff shampoo. So you can actually mix anti-dandruff shampoo with your normal body wash in equal amounts and use the whole concoction. As a body wash, the fungal infection is not going to reduce but it's going to completely stop the fungal infection right there and then or like just prevent it from growing excessively. And if you have had fungal infections before and you feel that your skin is completely prone to fungal infections or like you have specific body parts like underarms or groin area or maybe behind your neck, behind your ear, these areas that sweat or you've had fungal infections in these areas before, you can use something like a candid powder or Nicel which have antifungal properties and use them like twice a day so that you keep it away. So if you're lesions are huge or they're recurrent or if your infection is occupying a large larger body area 
or it's kind of recurring a lot or you have a lot of areas involved of your body you have to go to a dermat you can't just self medicate so the thing with antifungal medications especially the oral ones is that they they are hepatotoxic that means they can damage your liver and they have a lot of adverse effects that can completely disturb your stomach so don't self medicate if you are using any kind of steroid creams or oral steroids stop using them immediately because steroids actually reduce your body or skin's immunity and every time you use steroids bacterial and fungal infections kind of just have a huge spurt so any kind of steroids is something that you have to stay away from if you have fungal infections so don't self medicate go to a dermat If you're a person who has higher risk because of diabetes or any other conditions, try to prevent it by the measures that I actually told you before. So another thing about treatment for a fungal infection is that these treatments continue for a longer period of time because fungal infections are a little stubborn, you could say. So these treatments are going to at least be two months long, or at least two weeks after the lesion goes away. So I'll tell you the reason behind it is that at times when you see your skin you really want to feel like oh it's gone the lesion has gone and you feel the itch is gone and all the symptoms are gone and you completely you just abruptly stop your medications at that point but in reality what happens is your eyes are not microscope obviously so over there on the lesion the fungus is still there in a small amount but this fungus is still there and when you stop your medications within a week or two it just going to start growing again so when your doctor tells you you know that you're supposed to have this treatment for two months do that don't just stop abruptly any kind of fungal infection or bacterial infection a certain duration of the treatment is always going to be there that you have to complete otherwise it is going to keep coming back and at times you can just have fungus that gets resistant to your medications So especially with something like ringworm don't expect overnight changes and even if something gives you overnight relief you should know that it is not going to be a permanent thing you have to complete that duration of time that is usually a month or two ringworm is a zoonotic disease so you have to take care that your pet is always clean bathe them you know powder them so that they stay clean because any time your pet gets infected with a fungal disease they're going to transmit it on to you If you have diabetes and it's uncontrolled usually fungal infections anywhere like candidiasis or skin fungal infections flourish so if you have diabetes make sure that you you have your blood sugar levels in check if the lesion is like very itchy and unbearable for you what you could do is you could just use a calamine lotion to calm it down for a time being but it is going to take time for all your medication and antifungals to actually work and eradicate the fungus completely and it's going to take a lot of time for your antifungals to work and completely eradicate the fungus from your skin so don't leave your treatment just in the middle of it so don't abruptly discontinue your treatment that is the most important thing that you want to do right now complete your treatment i hope you guys found this video helpful in some way and like share and subscribe so comment down and let me know what would be the next thing that you'd like to know yeah that's it for today bye take care wear a mask stay hydrated bye